hi guys welcome back to the channel if you are new hello there my name is marina nice to meet you so today we have the kweku Ando sustainability institute which is located in Yatiwati in the Volta region of Ghana in West Africa. The Kuando Sustainability Institute, also known as KASI for short, is named in honor of the world-renowned Ghanaian ethnobotanist Dr. A. Kweku Ando. On the 16th of October 2021, KASI was open to an audience from the country and the diaspora. Situated in Liatiwati in the Volta region, which is also home of Afajatu, Ghana's tallest mountain. Kasi has five earth dome living spaces built of laterite using a patent machine from the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. It also has four story buildings that are featured for accommodation, classroom, and kitchen. So let me take you guys on a tour in the facility. So we are in one of the story buildings and we are downstairs. So this place is the washroom and toilet. And then it also has a storeroom. This place is an open space, which is going to be used for classroom. And then when we can see the board <laughs> here, so I don't think the place is fully functional yet. And then also when you climb upstairs, that should take you to their bedrooms. So we can see Dr. Kwekwanda's um, painting up there. And then we climbed upstairs and these are some of the rooms that are supposed to be like sleeping places. Kasi was built by helping Africa by establishing schools home and abroad, also known as Habisha for short. I don't know if I pronounced that right. So this institution is made up of a number of Africans from the diaspora currently living in Ghana. So we are in another one of the story buildings and let me take you on a quick tour downstairs and then we continue. So we have another painting here of Dr. Kweku Ando here again in the kitchen. This is the kitchen area and then the dining area. So this place is not functioning yet, but it is not functioning, I think. We have everything set for picking and all that. So all the pathway is made out of palm kernel shell. And the source of power here is solar power. So the institution has a solar park which powers the entire facility. How cool is that? So no um, hydropower, it's fully um, solar power. So we are going to check the other rooms out, the rooms that are made out of laterite and finished with bamboo. It's like a mini self-contained. The bed is made out of bamboo and then the side logs are also, I think, eco-friendly. And I love this thing on top here, which is tie and dye cloth that has been moved onto the side lock. And the side lock is, yeah. It has some Edinka symbols on it. I can see Gina Min here. And also, a mini sitting area which is also made out of bamboo and the cloth is also tie and dye and you can see the edinka symbol jinyame it has a little kitchen kitchenette here where you have your mini fridge so this section heats out when you are cooking and then there's a sink here also there's a, I don't know what this is called. You see those baskets, uh, those things they use in weaving baskets. That's what they use for these things. I think there's this thing here for storage. Maybe you can store your clothes there or something, I don't know. And then the kitchen also has cabinets where you can store stuff there. And then the uh, washrooms are also here. So 
this is a very beautiful washroom it has a sink and your toilet and then your bath it has a shower and those things so yeah it's a lovely place so this side of the bathroom has this thing here which when you slide opens up into a storeroom so i don't know what you can store there but it's spacious enough mm -hmm. you see how the architecture of the room is really beautiful and the front too is wooden so i think they are giving us a modern touch with nature You've been hanging around with me at Kweku Ando Institute of Sustainability, Kasi for short, at Liatiwati in the Volta region. Support your girl by subscribing to the channel. It will go a long way to help me bring you more content like this. Subscription is free, guys. So look at this beautiful landscaping around the building and it has a stream behind the building as well. This stream is from the Tagbo Falls. It's a waterfall located in Liatiwati and there are bamboo trees all around the facility as well. There's a bamboo sitting area at the back of the building and also there's this oven for baking. So the place is a full package guys. So this place is a bamboo pavilion workshop. I'm guessing they use this side when they have an upcoming project or something of that sort. Yes, that's their reception over there. There's a laundry room around. And also there's a public washroom over there as well in your shorts. So the facility also has their own farmland where they grow different types of crops and herbs. I found a couple of crops as well when I went there. So I saw coconuts, lemongrass, cassava, okra, plantain, and a whole lot of plants and herbs there. So this is like a really eco-friendly environment and I think they live by their name. According to the executive director of Hashiba, Kashan Myers, I hope I got the pronunciation right. This project that sits on a five acre land took five years and brought together a wide range of locals with expertise and various skills to complete. Kasi is designed to be a research institute where Africans globally can come and learn indigenous knowledge. Kasi aims to shape the future of Africans through learning and sharing of indigenous knowledge and information systems of housing development, renewal energy, water conservation, traditional medicine or healing, and the arts. My source of reference is diasporaaffairs.gov.gh, an article written by Yao Mankata. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to read further. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Let me know if you love this content. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.